Welcome back, guys, to the second best show you will ever watch on YouTube. Gang. Um, I don't know what episode this is. Um, something good. Something good, something great, something fresh, something nice. Remski, what are we- I said I've got a challenge for us. You don't listen. Ra I just said it 10 seconds ago. You don't f***ing listen to me. No one f***ing listens to me. No one cares. <sighs> what, anyway. What's the challenge? So, I got- What is the challenge? Wait, wait. <laughs> so, guys, I've got a challenge for us today. It's been a couple of weeks without a challenge, so I've got a challenge for us. I saw a brother doing this on TikTok the other day, and I thought, oh, it's actually not that bad. Okay. It's not, it doesn't seem great, but it's not that bad. Okay. So, I got it for everyone. Sour sweet challenge. Oh, for okay. God's sake, that was literally my- I knew what it was, was gonna, gonna be. When he said, I know what I'm gonna do, Duh. I was thinking, I bet it's this. Sorry, <laughs> okay. Alex. That's why you need to step your pussy this up. Is yeah, bro, you this is my game. You this gotta is step my, up. This is my challenge. This is you? This is you? Sour candy is my, is, is my game. Well, it's, do you just do the yeah, yeah, sour I love, sweets? Can. I love like sour sweets. So there's literally like three or four in the bag. So mm. I think we should do like two or three at a, time, at a time. I read the reviews and it says like, it's not super potent unless you put like yeah, yeah, yeah. a bunch okay. in your mouth at a time. Okay. And we'll just see what happens. We're gonna have to spit them somewhere. Is do we have like a bag or anything? You don't eat them. I've got a nut. Oh, you want to eat the whole thing? I'm not asking you, do you not do that? Yeah, you can eat it, but I'm not, I'm not eating it. Oh, I'm eating it. Are you just doing it for the, the sour flavor? Yeah, I'm just doing it to see mm. if we confirm it or what. Okay. All right, so let's give these a go. I'm saying, I think we should just try like- Just hold it down. 30 seconds. Yeah. See yeah. how it feels? Yeah, 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 sure. Ren, put a timer on, on, the, on the thing, please. Yes, sir. Oh, what's the challenge? Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a challenge actually on here. Oh. oh. Joe's Super Sour Challenge. The world's sourest challenge. Sourest? The world's sourest challenge. The English is not. Wow. That doesn't sound like it's English. Yeah. Right, start your engine. <gasps> One to 15 seconds. Jesus. Pump it up is, wait, what? Oh, so oh, you start, you start it's okay, one cool, cool, cool. By All right, guys, this is what you have one. to do, right? Okay. You take one for 15 seconds. Mm. After 15 seconds, you put the second one in. Oh. After that 15 seconds, you put a third one in for 20 seconds. And then after that 20 seconds, you put the fourth one in for 30 seconds. This is gonna stain my tongue already. Yeah. I'm livid. <laughs> I'm livid. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous now. Um, I didn't know it was gonna bang like that. Cause that's like a whole, what's that? 15, 30, that's a minute 20 overall. The blue one looks the sourest to me. I no, might this, go blue first. This multicolored John is, I think this multicolored John will surprise you. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's the one that will surprise you. I smell like nothing. This is gonna make me wanna be sick. I already know it. Man said I've got a challenge. No one listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm a bit nervous guys. I think I could pattern this, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. So Yeah. Ellis seems confident you yeah. can pattern it. Yeah. Like, are we ready? Are we wait, do we all the have timer? the same colours? Uh, I've got blue. Got yeah, we've got all the same colours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Should we do the you same? Do the same one the same let's do the same, same ones. experience. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> let's yeah? do the same ones. Alright. Alright, so this one is for fifteen seconds and before the second one goes in, okay? And yeah. which, which, which one is starting? Which colour is this? Pink. Pink? We're all doing pink first, yeah. Let's go pink, green, blue, multicolour. Rem, you got the timer ready? How we do? How long? Fifteen, 15 seconds. seconds. All right, three, two. Wait, we, wait. Let me see. Pink. We're doing pink first. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Mine's kind of more orange, but we, we won't get into that. Cool, good. I'm being for real. I'm just saying. So it's him, isn't it? <sighs> I'm just saying. Do you have a green and a blue one? Yeah. And a, a multicolored one. one. No. You don't have a multicolored one. I got green. And I got blue. this green and pink one. Yeah, that's multicolored. Yeah, multicolored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and turquoise <laughs> and this and this and this. Man said turquoise Rem. <gasps> Put a sweet in your mouth. Lick it like a sweet. <sighs> Man said it's orangey. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. Three, two, two one. one. Lick it okay. <laughs> mm. it. It's a bit sour. Mm. <coughs> Don't swallow. Too late. Ready? One. Green. Two, one, now. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Mm. 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 Blue now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Yep. Mm-mm. -mm. Mm -mm, not yet. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. mm, it was, yeah, you right. Mm -hmm. mm. Marty, call it now. <laughs> mm. 
calling you a cult, bro. God. I wasn't even sour, it was disgusting. Ugh. Yeah, coming it out was marbles. Ugh. 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 Pause. God. <coughs> my I'm teeth grim. feel horrible. Yeah. Ugh. It's more my teeth there. Oh, oh. oh God, I'm grim. It tastes like acid. Mm. I'm salivating. Yeah, fam. Same. Fuck. Oh, I don't know what I wanted out of that. It didn't give me like the whole mm-mm. Yeah. It just burnt my tongue. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't that sour. It wasn't that sour. It just like numbed my mouth. It yeah. should have been gummies that you can chew yeah. and actually eat, but fucking sour. All right, Ellis, next time you, you, you can do it. Okay, cool. That was not pleasant. It wasn't. My cool. teeth feel horrible. Yeah. Mm. I wish I had. I feel like I'm wearing a teeth. mouth guard. Mm. Oh man, that's great. I'm salivating everywhere. Wow. Mm. Am I just spitting on a palm now? I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's the first thing I thought about. As, when I said I'm salivating, I'm saying eating out right now would be the- It'll be the dog's- Yeah, yeah, the yeah, looks. yeah, yeah, it'll be the best. It'll be the best, but yeah. Mm, you'll be, you, yeah, yeah, it would, yeah, 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 yeah it'll yeah. be sick. She won't know. She won't know what I hear. That was not wow. pleasant, man. The third one made me gag. Oh, I heard, I heard. We all heard. The third one made me gag. Oh. I couldn't take it anymore. Pause. All right, man, well, I don't know how to feel about that one. Neither do I. I think but, for me, this is like the most disappointing challenge. Um, I see what they were trying to achieve, but yeah, yeah, fuck, Ugh. yeah, agreed. My water tastes weird, bro. Yeah, same. Uh, I can't grip my teeth together. It's making me shiver. Oh my god, my water does taste weird. Oh, that's shit. Right, Remsky, what did you say the thing yesterday? Unsolved mysteries, bro. Unsolved mysteries. Let's you ready? Do this. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to solve some mysteries. <laughs> the Nahani Valley or the Valley of Headless Man is one of the last truly unexplored places on Earth. Situated within the rugged Northwest Territories of Canada to the nearest city Yellowknife, up to 44 persons have either died or disappeared within it starting from 1908. The mystery behind the Nahani Valley started when two brothers, Willie and Frank McLeod, who were gold prospectors, disappeared. Two years later, they were found headless and their camp burned. The mystery behind the valley deepened in the years 1917 to 1945. Headless bodies of gold prospectors were found and their cabins burnt. So who are responsible for these deaths? The Dean natives tell of a warlike tribe called Naha that live in the high mountains that pillaged and killed. They became the main foe of the Dean people. The natives said that the Naha disappeared suddenly and no trace of them has ever been found. The Dean people avoided the valley and spoke of an unknown evil in the valley. Could the deaths be caused by the Naha, or is there something more sinister hidden in the valley? Hmm. You ever heard of that? No, I found that so boring. So basically, you're saying the people were just getting found. Their camp, they were going to the valley. Their camps were getting burnt, and they were found headless. Mm. And then the people that lived there were like, "Oh, it's probably the Naha that are doing it." And then this guy saying, "Is it the Naha, or, or something more so sinister?" Yeah. <laughs> Where everyone's saying it's the Naha. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, next. All right, yeah, it sounded like he was trying to make a mystery out of that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the Nah or something more sinister? <laughs> Who are Anonymous? Anonymous is a decentralized <gasps> international man. activist and hacktivist collective and movement primarily known for its various cyber attacks against several governments, government institutions and government agencies, corporations and the Church of Scientology. The founder of Anonymous Hacktivist Collective is Cosmo the God. Anonymous originated in 2003 on the image board 4chan representing the concept of many online and offline community users simultaneously existing as an anarchic, digitized global brain or hive mind. Anonymous members can sometimes be distinguished in public by the wearing of Guy Fox masks and the style portrayed in the graphic novel and film V for Vendetta. Some anons also opt to mask their voices through voice changers or text-to-speech programs. Evaluations of the group's actions and effectiveness vary widely. Supporters have called the group freedom fighters and digital Robin Hoods, while critics have described them as a cyber lynch mob or cyber terrorists. In 2012, Time called Anonymous one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Anonymous media profile diminished by 2018, but the group re-emerged in 2020 to support the George Floyd protests and other causes. Have you ever, you ever heard of them before? Yeah, um, I'm sure when he said like cyber attacks, was it them that did the 
the MGM casino got like cyber attacked like last week or two weeks ago in, in Vegas. Oh, like, is it? I don't know, I saw it on Twitter maybe. Um, I wasn't too sure if it was them, but it made me think of that. But I have heard of them before, mm. yeah. They're cheeky little freedom fighters, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, when shit is a rude, they'll just pop up and mm. be like, we're gonna start shutting shit down. Mm. Mm. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Um, I, always sort of, I always felt that they were like freedom fighters from what I used to hear, what they used to mm. get up to and whatnot. Uh, I felt like they were fighting for the good um, for those who didn't have, maybe have a voice, but yeah. On a Robin Hood thing? Kinda, yeah. Kinda, kinda. The dark story of Japan's suicide forest. Oh, God. Mount Fuji, the often snow-capped and Japan's highest mountain, is the focal point for tourists for many reasons. One of them being the Aokigahara Forest. The Aokigahara Forest in Japan has the unfortunate distinction of being the world's second most popular place to end one's life. Aokigahara is a dense forest at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. The foliage here is so thick that it has came to be known as Sea of Trees. The forest thrives on 30 SQ, km of volcanic land and is just around two hour journey from Tokyo City. But believe me, it is no place for a leisurely walk. The woods are filled with densely twisted trees, their roots winding across the forest floor in a treacherous manner giving visitors an eerie sense of solitude. According to Atlas Obscura, Japanese spiritualists believe that the suicides committed in the forest have permeated in the trees, generating paranormal activity and preventing many who enter the forest from escaping its depths. Moreover, it has also been reported that compasses, cell phones, and GPS systems become useless in this volcanic land because nope. of rich deposits of magnetic iron. So if you are lost, there is no way you can call for help. It is so difficult to get out of here that people carry tapes with them and wrap them around the trees so that they can find their way out. Japanese authorities no longer release exact numbers of the people who commit suicide in Aokigahara. Some estimates claim that as many as 100 people a year successfully kill themselves here. Several reports suggest that people also camp in the forest for a few days, figuring out if they want to die or not. Talking to no. Atlas Obscura, a local police officer once said that there's nothing beautiful about dying here. He also said, I've seen plenty of bodies that have been really badly decomposed or been picked at by wild animals. Just at the entrance, there's a sign to stop people from committing suicide. All through the forest, suicide counselors and police have also posted signs with messages like, think carefully about your children, your family, and your life is a precious gift from your parents. Some people also believe that the forest may be haunted by the spirits of those who committed suicide here. These spirits called Uri lure and torment those visitors into suicide who yeah, are suicide sad and have time. lost their path in the forest. <laughs> the Aokigahara Forest has been featured in several best-selling novels and movies like The Forest and The Sea of Trees. Trust us, though the forest is a beautiful place where you can go trekking and exploring the nature, there's really nothing beautiful about dying here. Jesus, that was a dark video. That that's was... probably the darkest TikTok I've ever seen so in my entire fucking life. I'm surprised that's life. not like been taken down or some. Bro. And the fact that he said it's the <clears throat> second most popular place to commit suicide. Like, first of all, where's, where's the first? Where's the first? And why do you know this I stuff? I did wonder. A like, um, hundred people a year successfully kill themselves. Fam, there's signs up in there when you walk into the forest saying, don't do it. Think of your crazy. family. That's, think of your kids. Bro. Life is precious. Think that's, of your family. Imagine walking crazy. into a forest and you're seeing signs like, think of your family. Mm. Before you step they in know, you, think, They know you step what you're going in, in there yeah. to do. Mm. That's crazy. That's man. terrifying. They should barricade that bitch. Like, surely, I don't know, there's a forest you can't, but I don't know, man. That's mm. long. That's oh, they just long. find somewhere else to, yeah. to kill themselves. Yeah. Very true. Um, Unfortunately. True. Yeah, that's dark. Very dark. That's I'm sure. He, says, I I he was saying it so <laughs> <with> jarring. <laughs> Was jarring me. Um, so monotonous as well. Yeah, that was really, really brutal. That's the thing that uh, Logan Paul got cancelled for. I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah, but he was did. it this specific? He went to that he forest, went to yeah. that and forest. he found a dead body in yeah, there and I recorded remember. it. And stuff. Decided to I take remember. a vid. Oh my god! Do you know how scared I would be to go to Suicide Forest and see someone who had committed suicide? I, I would. I wouldn't go to the forest. I wouldn't go to the I'm forest. Going to the forest. No. Yeah, I, I couldn't see. How much forest. go to the forest? For like the emotional and like the mental trauma it'll probably cause on me. Um, it'd have to be M's. Yeah, of course. It would have to be, how long am I, okay, give me, give me. Mm, like an hour. Oh, am I in one place? Or am I roaming the streets? You're just of the walking up and down. 
an so hour. a straight half an hour walk that way. Once you enter the forest, full half an hour walk that way. Um, or no, 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 like nah, a, a you, half an hour. Yeah, you got a loop. Loopy doop. You can't do an hour from yeah point A, yeah, and then hour loopy loop to make it back to point A. Yeah. God, I don't think I'll make it back. <laughs> um, I would have to say a strong like fifty m's, twenty five up front. Swear. Yeah. If you saw someone in the forest, would you try and talk to them? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> fuck them and fuck the forest. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them and fuck the forest. Try and chat to them. Because you know what they're there to do, innit? That's yeah. what I mean. Nah. Uh, yeah, but nah. Yeah, but nah. I can understand why they're there, but I'm dying. I'm running, bro. Yeah. What about Is this, you? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. I'll probably run. I'll be scared. I'll just assume it's a spirit. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'd assume yeah, it's facts. a Japanese spirit. Facts, bro. I'll run. And if I'll be thinking, all I'll be thinking is Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm. <laughs> the cursed energy in that yeah, bitch yeah, must yeah. be out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how much to do from point A to point A again for an hour? By myself? Mm, of course. Oh my God. Uh, would you say 50 M's? <laughs> yeah. I'll probably do it for less than 50 M's. I'd do it for like five M's. All right. Five M's is a lot of money. I'm not doubting that. To go around Suicide Forest. Fair enough. The shaman there to help me, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This is the scenario you recreate you created and you're no. asking me if they're sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm saying in this scenario, I can collect my five M's, but I'm saying if if I scream, someone will come. Nah, bro. Nah. No one's nah, coming. Fine. Why is anyone coming to you? No one's coming. Because they had someone had to drop me off at point A. Yeah. So when I'm walking around. Yeah, they're just gonna meet you back at point A. If you don't mm. make it back, that's your business. No, bro. no, 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 no. <laughs> that's that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not what I meant when I came on scenario, bro. That's not what I meant. I thought there'd be helpers there. Nah, bro. I'm lost. Is yes, it? bro. Nah. No, there's, there, These there, ones say compasses no, 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 don't no, no, work okay, in no, there. No, 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 okay, so straight, another scenario. Still point A to point A for an hour, but there is a specific path. If they say follow mm. like yellow brick road type of thing, follow this path, you will make it back to this point, yeah. but it does take minimum an hour. No help, nothing. If you come off this path? If you come off this path, it's your business. And if you confront something within this part, oh, no, 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 no. Business. So if there's like a pack of wolves, like eating a corpse on the path, you I'm be, like, fuck, I can't go through it. I have to go around. Gotta go around or climb a tree and wait. 50 M's, my bro, I don't, you must have five. <laughs> For that bullshit, I'll do 50 M's. <laughs> Big man, the I whole thing is bullshit. I assumed while I'm going around, there'd be like, like I said, there's like a string on the tree so I can find my mm. way. But if, yeah, if it's a case of I just have to figure it out and go yeah. around, yeah, it's like 100 M's. Fair. That's too scary. <laughs> the whole thing's scary, bro. I'm not doing it. <laughs> and in the dark? In the, no, there's not a, there's no, not a, mon no, there's, there, there's there not a monetary figure I'll do it in the dark. No. There actually isn't. There isn't. There, there isn't. isn't. You could someone say, could say a billion, I'm not doing it in the dark. A billion. A bill. A billion. <laughs> He's a thinking billion. That. That's a thousand million. <laughs> You're never doing anything again. An hour's walk for a thousand million. In what's it called? Ishigara Forest in, or whatever in, it's called. Uh, uh, Ashigara, I think it's called. Uh, forest. Suicide Forest. Long story short, in the dark. There's foliage everywhere. You've got to trip on stuff. You've got no head torch on that. Do you know how long an hour is of yeah. walking? That's a long fucking it's, time. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Nah, uh, a billion, we all know I'm doing it, but I'll scream and cry. That's just attracting wildlife, bro. That's just attracting wildlife. All right, next, please. <laughs> After 25 years, genetic investigators are saying that the DNA evidence in the John Benet Ramsey murder case could be identified in a matter of hours. If you don't already know, in December of 1996, John Benet was just six years old and had already won multiple titles in beauty pageants across the country. On the 26th, her family planned to fly to Michigan for a post Christmas vacation, but everything changed when her mom, Patsy, walked downstairs to find a ransom note on their back staircase. In short, the perpetrator claimed that John Bonet was unharmed and demanded $180,000 for her safe return. No. Right away, Patsy ran upstairs to find her daughter missing, and police were at the scene by 6 a.m. Authorities' initial search of the house reportedly turned up nothing, but later that afternoon, John Bonet's father looked for himself to find a broken basement window and his daughter's body lying in their family wine cellar. He <gasps> carried her upstairs screaming, likely destroying much of the evidence that was left on her body. John Bonet was found completely bound with tape covering her mouth, and an autopsy would report that she suffered a skull injury 45 minutes to two hours before dying of strangulation. Unsurprisingly, her parents and stepbrother were under suspicion in the following months, but with no real evidence against them or any other leads, the case eventually grew cold. 
we can get into a lot with this, but in the end, police have said it's incredibly improbable that a stranger would break into this mansion, find John Bonet's bedroom on the third floor, silently remove her from her bed, and then assault her in the basement for two hours before taking the time to write a three page ransom note that makes no sense. I'll get into all the theories in my next post, but regardless, John Bonet's murder remains unsolved and authorities are sitting on unidentified DNA evidence that was recovered from her body. Chief genetic genealogists are saying their new technology could identify this DNA within hours, and as we speak, the Ramseys are fighting for police to hand over the samples so that the testing can be done. Right. I just want to say one thing before we continue. Mm. Ram, I hope you're fucking proud of yourself. Cause I'm not sleeping tonight. I don't know about you. <laughs> this is the scariest shit I've seen. It gets worse. They did it, innit? Oh, they must have done they it. They did it, bro. They must have done it, bro. I don't know why, but they must have done it. People who killed her and you, uh, um, oh, they must mad to me. It reminds me of um, oh, that episode of the new season of Black Mirror, where my man goes back to Wales or Ireland with his girlfriend to visit the mum. And it's the, the mum and, and the dad. Mom, oh, Bro, episode one of the best episodes they've done. Wow, yeah, um, but um, yeah, that that is all long. That is all long. I don't even know how. I wouldn't be able to police how, that. How, how I'll attack, yeah. I'll attack them. Yeah, how are you getting away with that? And obviously, she just said at the end, there's now evidence or there's now means to find out the evidence and blah blah blah. But they're not handing it over. But why? Why are they handing it over? Who are the parents? No, they said that they've got, um, in, didn't they say at the end that they've got technology now to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Who's not handing it over? The police. The police aren't handing it over apparently yeah, or something. Like what? The police Why? Fam. Oh, I don't know. That's that's a deep, deep, deep conspiracy. They, because uh, also, I don't even know. They've got, in America, they have what they call like, a, what's it called? Statute of limitations or something like that. Mm -hmm. Where after a certain period of time, once it's like gone past a certain period of time, you actually can't be like um, prosecuted for the, a crime. Oh, okay. I think mm. it varies per crime, but yeah, there's mm. like what they call a, um, let me Google so it. So for example, if I've, done a, if I've done a crime and it's gone past like five years and you, try, you guys are trying to solve it, you've not solved it, I could be absolved of the crime? Uh, let me see, statute of limit. A statute of limitations known as civil law system as prescribed uh, a prescriptive period is a law passed by a legislative body to set a maximum time after an event within which legal proceedings may be initiated. In most jurisdictions, such periods exist for criminal law and civil law, such as cont contract law, property law, that often under different names of varying details. When the time which is specified in a statute of limitations runs out, a claim might no longer be filed, mm. or if it is filed, may be subject to dismissal. If mm. the defense against that claim is raised, that the claim is time barred as having been filed after the statute of limitations. That's crazy though. Yeah. DNA that is, is DNA. Mm. And they can, we've, we've heard of cases where that just gets draped up years and years down the line. So for this statute of limitations to just be like, mm, well actually nah, it's past the sell by date. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. That's crazy. It's bullshit. It's interesting. The parents 100% did it though. Or yeah, 100% did it. Someone, did it. someone like, or someone did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, someone did it. <laughs> no, I mean like someone, someone, <laughs> someone is inside ten. Yeah. The zone of silence is a mysterious and fascinating region in Mexico that covers over 50,000 square miles. It is known for its unusual properties, including the inability to receive radio or television signals, <laughs> anomalies in compass readings, and an unusually high incidence of meteorite strikes. The source of the electromagnetic field is unknown but some theories suggest that underground magnetic rocks or extraterrestrial activity may be responsible for it. Astrobiology researchers are interested in the zone of silence, investigating whether the area's unusual electromagnetic properties could help in the search for extraterrestrial life. Interesting. I feel like they're focusing too much on this extraterrestrial thing. I feel um, like they're forcing- Did you see those fucking, dusty mummies yeah. they bought in? That was in Mexico as well. Yeah, Mexico, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Those yeah, dusty with, baby aliens. Yeah, That's thousand years bullshit. Old. They're just forcing a conspiracy down your throat, pause, and it's like, hey, come on, bro. Come on, come on bro. What's, what's, what's all that? Um, I'm, so, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly intrigued. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm intrigued mm. with, by a lot of shit, but I feel like this one, for example, electromagnetic stuff, blah, blah, blah it can be, an understandable explanation, but for to say we don't know whether it's um, electromagnetics or extraterrestrial, like where are you getting the extraterrestrial yeah, yeah, shit yeah. from? Just, you know throwing what I'm it, yeah, just throwing it down your throat, pause, <laughs> and it's like, shut up, some bullshit, bro. It's clearly a magnetical thing that that's why you can't get signal and blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah, You're just like adding fluff to shit, man. Shut yeah. up, shut up. Next video, man. 
It just pisses stuff like pisses me off. <laughs> Have you heard of the Dark Watchers? Oh god. Pause. That face reminds me of I started watching um a show, uh, The Haunting of Blind Man or something like that. Have you seen The Haunting of Hill House or House Hill, whatever? Yeah, 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 so it's the yeah, second yeah. one of that. It came yeah, out like a couple yeah, years yeah. ago. I'm thinking if I saw it or not. That face, I think I've only seen two episodes so far. Yeah, that face is all over. Really? Yeah, like she sees, she only sees it in reflection. Like that face, those like no, piercing eyes. No, it's, it's mad. no, yeah. no. That just reminded me of that. Sick. No. I mean, I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm locked in. Here we go, The Watchers. Well, called The Night Watchers or whatever. In California, there are tales of shadowy human-like entities that haunt the Santa Lucia Mountains. Nope. You can find them among the tallest peaks or the shortest hills with their eyes peering down at you and are said to appear in the late afternoon or twilight. They are reported to be over 10 Chop. feet tall, featureless, and often wearing cloaks and large brim hats. The first sighting of these entities goes back to the Spanish settlers. However, till this day, hikers still report about them. It was even written about in the book, The Long Valley by John Steinbeck where he mentions that his mother would bring food offerings to these entities and later would see flowers in its place. It is warned that you should not approach them or risk getting spirited away. I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> the watchers or whatever, yeah. 10 feet tall, yeah, no yeah. features. They just yeah. stare at you with them eyes. Donnie's mum used to put food there and come back and there'd be flowers. flowers. Yeah, see that, yeah. Yeah. What kind of crazy bitch brings yeah. scary night giants flat, um, fucking food? Someone Bro. who wants to survive, fam. I'll move. Or you could do that. Spanish settlers, where's she moving to, bro? Nah, no, 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 no that's, that's what they originally. It started off with the Spanish settlers. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, this Donnie's mum. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was oh, just yeah, about the mice and men. Yeah, yeah, sailors, sailors, mm. sailors, sailors. Alright. <laughs> that's what he said. He said the author of Mice and Men. That's what he said. At the no, I was saying laughing at Spanish settlers. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Imagine being on the phone with your son and hearing the exact moment. Twin. I thought that was a Siamese twin. Pull it all up. Pull it all up. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was watching. <laughs> I didn't know what I was watching. I think, where's the conspiracy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Conjoined twin, bro. <laughs> sorry, yes. Mm. Fuck. Well, is that, is that politically incorrect? Siamese. Yeah. Is it? Siamese twin is inc politically incorrect. Oh, okay, my it's bad. Conjoined bad. twin. My bad, my bad. I didn't know. I'm being honest, I didn't know. I know right, you didn't. Cool. I also, I'm not mad at you. I also didn't know. Oh, okay, uh, cool. I've heard both terms, but I didn't know one was I didn't. I genuinely didn't know it was All right, we, we learn something new every day. I apologize if I offended anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Imagine being on the phone with your son and hearing the exact moment he disappeared forever. That's what happened That's to the parents scary. of Brandon Swanson, who mysteriously vanished in 2008. That year, on May 14th, Brandon went out to celebrate the end of classes with his friends. After attending a couple of parties, he decided to drive home. However, instead of taking the most direct route, he drove through a farming road and accidentally ended up in a ditch. Brandon was okay, but he called his parents asking them to come and fetch him. But although they drove around the area he told them he was in for hours, they couldn't find him in the dark. He then suggested they meet in the parking lot of a nearby nightclub and decided to cross a field to take a shortcut. Brandon's father was on the phone with his son and he suddenly heard him shout, Oh sh before the call was cut off, Brandon's phone was turned off after that, and he was never seen again. Despite the extensive search effort involving police dogs, air surveillance, and hundreds of volunteers, the teen's disappearance still remains a mystery. Shit like that is scary, man. Listen to me now! I'm more scared about shit like that than all this extraterrestrial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man said this he's is real. walking through a field on yeah. a phone to his dad and then just said, oh shit. And then and that's then it. That's it, done. never seen again. I'm just like, Brandon? Brandon? I'd scream. In a field, I'd scream. You'd never scream. You, you man never heard a scream that. I loud would there. tear my 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 larynx on the spot. <laughs> on the spot. Wow, bro. <clears throat> There's nothing scarier than that. Wow. Also, what do you mean he landed in a ditch, bailed his parents like I'm calm, come pick me up, and they said fuck it, fine, come meet me in this car park. Oh, I'll just cut through this. This field, field, yeah, yeah, in the middle of the night. Yeah, see, this places with so much like open space and open place, so much shit can go wrong. I need to be in. I need to be where there's yards, so someone can see me. Do you oh, know what I mean? there's a um, what fucking film is it? There's a film with Jake Gyllenhaal called like, oh, what's it called, bro? Describe it. Describe the movie. It's basically him telling a story about like his family getting like murdered 
They're yeah. like a country road road somewhere. Brokeback Mountain? Nah. <laughs> I'm just going through Jake's movies, bro. I've not seen that movie. I'm going to assume that that's not <laughs> it. Ah! That's no. where he's banging Heath Ledger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Yeah. I ain't seen that. No, I'll, I'll, I'll find it. Broke back. <laughs> Jake. I don't know what that is, bro. <laughs> oh, nah, bro. That's where he's fucking. It's called, Noct- oh, it's called Nocturnal Anim- Animals. Oh, okay. I ain't even here. Nocturnal Animals. I've never seen that. What, um, what year is that? What year is it? Yeah. 2016. Um, yeah. It's. Oh my God, bro. It's a thing. It starts off with like, they're just driving down this country road, bro. Mm. And then this car pulls up behind them or whatever. And then like, um, I can't remember. I'm paraphrasing because I can't really remember. Mm. All I remember is they get pulled over or whatever, or like get run off the road. And Jake's like, what the fuck's going on, yeah. bro? These brers. It's like him, his wife and his daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, They rock him, nank everyone out of the car, drive off. Oh my God. Rock him, take his family out of the car and fuck off. I need to see this movie. It's scary. Oh shit in hell. I need it's to see scary. That's all I'm going to tell you, man. I right, say less. Nank his family say and less. disappear. Say less. That's crazy. In the middle of a country, like one of these American yeah, Texas roads. Yeah, yeah, Just you're... fucking disappear. Fuck. Fuck. Do you know how scary that is? I couldn't, bro. I couldn't. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't know what to do with myself. Bro, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to understand why God hasn't granted me super speed or super Something. strength. Something. <laughs> super strength facts. Why do I not have speed, yeah. strength, or endurance, bro? Like, something. Give yeah. me something, because yeah. this is not how it goes down. This is my you're not, family. You're not taking about. my family and fucking off. I've been looking at This is my family we're talking about. <laughs> bro, give it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's long. That is long. Wow. Because otherwise, cut to scene, I'm in Ishikara Forest. Yeah. Swing it. Yeah. Ayuki Gahara Forest, swinging, bro. Cursed energy's up. Next. I'm sorry, I had to say it. Yeah, next, next, next. You're not next, taking next, my family. Next, next. You're just not. <laughs> well, they've taken them, bro. <laughs> and you've taken yours. <laughs> so next. <laughs> you've literally just described it play by play. <laughs> oh, God. It was the low water pressure that caused complaints oh, to be I've made by one. guests of the Cecil Hotel. Cecil oh, Hotel. Cecil Hotel. This February fucking... 19th, yeah. 2013. This is the lady just complaints ended up in Complaints were also mm. made about the water's she unusual from a lift taste, or something. with Have you seen some the documentary? guests claiming that the no, water oh, had a dark Netflix, discoloration. Yeah. Hotel maintenance worker Santiago Lopez was sent to investigate the matter. Four large water like tanks this. sit on the hotel rooftop all eight feet in height and able to hold 1,000 gallons each. When Lopez reached the top of the tanks, he found the hatch of one of them open. There he discovered a person, her decomposing figure void of all clothing. It was the body of a young woman floating face up inside the water tank. The Cecil Hotel is known for having a dark history. It was built in 1924 and its doors were opened in 1927. Over the years, the hotel became associated with numerous cases of violence, murder, and suicide. Obviously not. Yeah, that was- That's where the the Night Stalker lives, isn't it? Yeah, that's where he originated from. Yeah, that's where he used to to stay. He used to bop in in there. I'm sure they mention it in in the actual Cecil Hotel documentary. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that hotel's still running, you know? It is. Still open. It's still open, it's crazy. It's like back in of LA, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much to stay down, there? Downtown LA. Ooh, one night. Um, I, I'm not sleeping, so. <laughs> probably like, I'd have to sleep during the day. Wait, yeah, yeah, am yeah. I spending 24 hours there or am I spending a the night there? Um, 24, so like, check in at midday, leave at midday. And I can't leave the room? Or I can't leave the hotel? You can't leave the hotel. But I can, st- I can roam around for, 12, for 24 hours in the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I would say about 10 M's. That's a lot of money. That's my life we're talking about. <laughs> I don't not understand why you counteract with, when I say- Because I know figure. it's not true. It is true. It's not. It is to true. stay if in was, that if it's hotel. Not, if we had a little bit, le- well, a bit less, if we halved that and it was the contract was right in front of you, you're signing it, bro. No, I will say if you give me five, I'm staying for 12 hours. That's exactly what I'll tell them. Or I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck. I don't have to do it. I just won't get to them. <laughs> yeah, fair, bro. Fair enough. I love your conviction. You? I'd stay in there for like 
300K. <laughs> you don't value your sanity. Bro, I do. People stay in there every day. And they, how many of them die? No, nowhere near that many. <laughs> All right, bro. Not since the 80s. All That's right, when bro. shit was popping off. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. not getting in the lift. <laughs> you, you're on like the 14. Oh, obviously there's no 13th floor there as well. Okay. You, you, you would have- I'm doubling it. What do you mean there's no 13th floor? Yeah, there's no 13th. That's- It goes from 12 to 14. 14, yeah. That's like a big thing. I feel like in American, like hotels, things, there's no 13th floor. Especially in that hotel. Oh, because it's unlucky. It's an unlucky number. Oh, right. I thought you meant, yeah, I thought you meant like it's magic. Uh <laughs> I thought you, you know what I found? I thought you meant something like, I could be stood outside. <laughs> allow me, allow me, allow me. I thought you were telling me I could be stood outside, count like the right number of fucking windows and then get in the lift and it just doesn't appear. Magic. <laughs> allow me, bro. I thought that's what you were saying. Like it's haunted. The bitch is haunted. But no, I have heard uh, that a lot of hotels don't have a 13th floor because it's unlucky, which is the dumbest <sighs> shit I've heard. <sighs> oh, Next, I literally thought man. you were spit, spitting just warlock stuff. <laughs> Ahead, you'll hear an interview with a New Mexico policeman who a few days ago saw an object take off and leave in its wake burning grass and impressions on the earth. It's quite a story and one that we'll hear more of later. Whose rendition is that, bro? A child's. Up to the time I came to this little road, I heard this big uh, roar blast. We got a dynamite to the west there. I thought I'd investigate maybe. I thought maybe blow it up. So I started up there real fast. Half ways to it. I stuck my head out the window, out of the car, and I seen this flight take object. Uh, I didn't know what it was at that time. I thought it was a vehicle that turned over. I started out real fast so I could uh, maybe help the people in, in the car. I went up to it close, about 200 feet. I was 200 feet from it. I got off the car and started towards it when I heard this big noise again, same noise, and the flame coming. Unnecessary. The CGI is bullshit. It's back. ruining the whole thing. Unnecessary. Do you know my um, issue, I would say, with um, UFO and like all these flying things, conspiracies? I hate the fact that they're all in like the 1960s, 1980s or like, why, if, let's say they do exist. And I, I do believe they exist. I don't feel like, I feel like there's more than us out here. But why doesn't shit like that happen now? Like we've got all the technology and shit to, to well, pre them. A lot them. of it is coming out now. Yeah, but a, a lot of it's coming out now, but these men are talking about like a thousand old aliens that. No, 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 no. I mean, there's a guy called uh like what's his name sergeant fravor or something like that okay i might be mixing it up um but there's there's guy there's a guy that's coming out that um he's like a pilot and has like footage mm. of a thing an aircraft that they were chasing and they call it like the, they call it like the tic tac and it looks exactly how that was described mm, it it and they've got me. like images of it mm. um and he was like actual like in the air force they've got like the black box recordings of okay. him being like of two pilots okay. chasing this thing. And it went from like, however many feet, like 30,000 feet down oh, to like a hundred yeah, feet yeah, yeah. in like, in like a second. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. don't have the technology to even understand all this stuff. And that was like, not that long ago. Yeah, I'm, this rings, either you told me this or I saw this somewhere and we spoke about it, but yes. And that, like, that a lot of them, there's that, yeah, there's people like speaking in Congress, like nowadays. Yeah, I, I hear all this Congress stuff, but I, I just feel like, the stuff that people are saying they saw back a day is no what not nowhere near the stuff that we're seeing now per se. And I feel like because back then there wasn't as much, I feel like they're fucking smart with it. If if alien, if these alien things are real, they're fucking smart with it because they know the technology wasn't there in like the 1960s, 1980s, and all them things. And they were just about apparently. Everyone's got the same um, recollection of what they look like, how the thing sounds, how the thing moves, all of them things. And now it's just we hear stuff. Yes, we are seeing a few things here, there, and everywhere, but 
it's not as prominent as it used to be back then, in my opinion, anyway. That's, that's, okay. I just, I just, that's just my view on it, I guess. So this murdered Texas couple's missing baby has finally been found after 42 years. God. And the story is crazy. Let's take a look. So in 1981, Dean Klaus, his wife Tina Lynn, and their baby Holly disappeared without a trace in East Texas. The only clue was from an anonymous caller who said that he had found Dean's car in California. And he claimed that three women in white robes drove it from Texas to California. Police were actually able to track nope. down one of the women who called herself Sister Susan, and she claimed that Dean had joined a cult and renounced all earthly possessions. And she wouldn't tell them anything else. It actually wasn't until late last year that human remains found around the same time were confirmed to be Dean and Tina's. Dean had been beaten to death and Tina had been strangled. But that didn't answer what happened to Holly. This year, investigators were searching for human remains around where Dean and Tina were found. And that's when they got a genetics hit that Holly was alive and in Oklahoma. But get this, when they were talking to Holly, they found out that she had been left on the steps of a church in Arizona by none other than three women in white robes. Investigation is still pending and they are really trying to figure out who these white robed women are. But for now, at least we know that Holly is alive and well. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I thought the plot, twi plot twist was she's Holly. Fam, I was, thinking, I was waiting for her to say I'm Holly. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Um, damn, bro. Murked off the parents and then just dropped her off at a church. Wow, trying that's, to cult. Too, that's too much. Stuff like this really does scare me. <sighs> this, yeah, man, I can't. <clears throat> all this like strangled to death, all this kind of stuff. You're not doing that to me. I'm telling you now, like I know you man don't believe me. God would give me powers. <laughs> If my life was genuinely yeah, in danger yeah, yeah, yeah. by would, three women in white robes trying to strangle me and choke yeah. and like stab me and stuff, superpowers. Yeah. Tendons are getting sliced. Yeah, yeah. It's something. Yeah. I would develop superpowers on the spot. Facts. You man wouldn't believe your eyes. Facts, facts, facts. Because I'm just not going down like that. Yeah, it's impossible, man. Yeah. It's just, imp I just can't fathom it. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely can't fathom it. Neither can I. I can't. I'll, I'll expect someone to jump out and be like, cut. Yeah, like, yeah. As soon as I'm about to die, a director will come out and be like, cut. Yeah. And it all, because it just doesn't go, this yeah. is just not how it goes yeah, down. Facts, facts. That's too scary for one human. <sighs> it doesn't go down like that. This photo is of the Cincinnati nope. crawl. Next. It was taken by a family who caught him in their home in 1974, but he escaped shortly oh, yeah. afterwards. So in 1974, the Johnson family in Cincinnati noticed a couple weird things happening in their home. The 14 year old daughter, Claire, would complain about seeing glowing eyes outside of her Someone window. At night. Glowing eyes thing, and then bro. one night, the youngest son, Timmy, was laying in bed in the dark when he of felt the family Timmy. dog jump up onto his bed. But when he went to go pet it, it was not the dog. No. It was the crawler, who police still believe was responsible for the disappearance of four other boys in the area. Some believe that he was an escaped convict, while others actually believe that he was the victim of human experiments happening in the area that may have been conducted by the family's dad. Claire snapped this photo of him what? before he escaped, but he was never found since. This is not a real photo. I promise you, that it's not a real photo. Be a that real can't be photo. real, bro. That can't pull up, pull, be real. Please just pull up the Cincinnati crawler. Please pull it up. Pull it up. That can't be real, bro. What do you mean? Hopped on the bed, man went to stroke the dog, and it's this, bruh. Like he would, the ute would have felt the depth yeah, of yeah, the yeah, bed. Yeah. Like, you're like, that's not a dog. That's a human being. <laughs> Yo, big that man was. <laughs> He and you think a that's a dog? Fam, to be fair, in the gusto of sleep, <laughs> I will think whatever. Don't I will think worry. whatever. Yeah, just, uh, and I used to have dogs back fair, a day. Fair. And when they jumped on your on your bed, it felt like a grown ass man. Fair. Oh God, I'm not interested. Jesus. Cincinnati crawler, like the Scranton Strangler. <laughs> yeah. Like the Scranton fucking Strangler. Yeah. No, wow. bro, what do you mean crawler? Facts, bro. Today's true crime story is pretty chilling, okay? This one even scared me, right? But anyways, this has some very disturbing and graphic details. View discretion is advised. In the early 1900s in Bavaria, Germany, the group of family lived in this farmhouse called the Hintercafe. The family consisted of husband and wife, Andreas and Kazilia, their widowed daughter, Victoria, and Victoria kids, Joseph and Kazilia. The family noticed a lot of strange things going on around the house. Andreas noticed a set of keys that were missing, and also there were footprints in the snow leading from the woods to the house, but there was never no footprints ever leaving the house. There was also a newspaper in the house that Andreas never remembered buying, and it looked as if someone was trying to pick at the lock on the shed. 
While all these strange things were going on, they had a maid at the time, and the maid was like, look, I gotta quit. This house is haunted. The family kept hearing noises in the attic, and the maid just like, look, I can't be here anymore. The noises in the attic, all the stuff going on around it's here. Her I yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> all those strange things continue to happen in the house. The family ends up hiring a new maid named Marie. What the group of family did not know was that those strange things would lead to their murder. On the evening of March 31st, 1922, the group of family was murdered. Victoria's son, Yosef, was killed in his crib, and Maria was killed in her bed. What's so crazy about this is that that same day, March 31st, 1922, that was the same day that the maid, Maria, was hired. Meanwhile, the rest of the group of family was found murdered in the barn, and they were stacked on top of each other. When people no! in the town didn't see the family for days, they grew concerned, and the police came to the house, and then that's when they discovered all the bodies. All the victims were killed by a pig's axe, but the police were so puzzled about something. The family wasn't found until six days later, but it seemed like someone had made themselves at home. Police noticed that food was being eaten, the animals were being fed, someone was sleeping in the beds, you oh know, sitting God. on the furniture, you know, things like that. that. For years, the police were looking for the suspect or suspects, but they couldn't find anybody. So the case was closed in 1955, and the year after the murders, the whole farmhouse was demolished. To me, I feel like someone was able to sneak into the house without the family's knowledge and was living in the attic for months. That's what I think. All right, y'all, that's it, and I'll be back to do more true crime videos Bro, for you guys. There was a movie about that. Not necessarily this, but um, they would find an empty house or like they'd stake it out or stalk it out or rather, find an empty house, see if they've left and then literally live in the attic. And then when they come back, they'd only like move around during the night when everyone else is asleep. No, I can't remember what the movie's called, but I've seen a movie. No, like. that's not a thing, bro. Yeah. Someone's not living in my attic for months. Bro. And I promise you now, I'm not like having all these funny little experiences mm. where I'm just like, hmm, if my maid is like, Bro, I'm not gonna lie. There's fucking noises here. Yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah, and I'm and then I've seen footprints in the snow come in and not going. Mm. Someone's had a go at the fucking shed. 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 Yeah, you have to bop out. There's I'm leaving paper. everything. Yeah, 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 There's yeah. a newspaper. Yeah, that he knows he didn't buy. He didn't buy. There's keys there. That, yeah, you'd have and to. And the bitch is saying in the ag, the ag is making noise, and no one thought. Let me bop up there and just make sure. That's also another thing I couldn't see. I probably wouldn't bop up there yeah, because you wouldn't. there's you nothing wouldn't. scarier than opening the hatch and seeing someone in the corner. See, seeing the Cincinnati, <laughs> the, seeing the Cincinnati, Cincinnati crawler. crawler in the corner, just in the corner, like, <laughs> like With nah, the eyes. yeah, the eyes, glowing eyes. Ooh. You man, I'll fall backwards. <laughs> I'll fall through the hatch so fast it's not even funny. I'd have to, I'd set the yard alight. Yeah, right. I'd set the yard alight. <laughs> wow. Send me to pen. I don't care, bro. I'm burning everything. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm yeah. burning everything. Oh, shit like that. I'll put all it? my ID in there so we can't find me yeah, next yeah. time. <laughs> Facts. Witness protection, bro. Oh my god. Alright, let's let's charge the video there. That's been going for a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro. <laughs> That's the scariest thing. Rate it, but also I'm not sleeping tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no. not sleeping tonight. I'm no. gonna have images of, of stuff in my eyes. It's just the close your eyes and seeing eyes is all you're gonna see. Sorry, bro. Oh god. Anyway, thank you guys. That Facts. was an interesting twisty one. Um, mm. But yeah, catch us next week. Yes, love, 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 love. Gang, gang, gang.